Hello everybody, I'm Ernest. So, this is my new to me 2019 uh, Springfield Dark Horse. I just got it. I think I've only put maybe 60 miles on it. I don't know, son, got a little scratch right there. Um, let me just tell you what I've done to it. I haven't done much because I've only had it a week, but the weather's been so miserable down here cold and rainy that i haven't been able to ride it just to ride from uh, from the dealership to the house um it only had like 2,000 miles on it um it's got led light lighting all the way around uh now let me put this on the uh so it it does have LED lighting all the way around and it has push start. You just you just touch it and it starts automatically. I, I like that. And there's the LED lights and they're quite nice at night. I didn't put them on there. Uh, the person who had the bike before did that. This is a stock exhaust. I'm, well, I think it's a stock exhaust. I don't know for sure. I don't know it's it sounds kind of loud to be stock but I don't know much about it if anybody else knows this is what it looks like in the back I don't know if that's if that's stock or not it has locking bags so they're locked and come up here push the button there and uh, and the bags will unlock I also have a key fob that I can operate the latches to. Um, this particular bike comes with the 111 Indian motorcycle uh, Thunderstroke, I think is what it's called. The, the power delivery is, is, is nice and smooth. Um, and quite torquey. Now this particular bike has molds on it. I think, I, th I don't know if 2019 was the first year that they start putting molds on these bikes. But it has sport, standard, and tour mode. Um, I had it on sports and it makes the throttle really touchy and very quick. Uh, it, I can say it is. it does make a difference on the molds. Now, right now I have it in uh, standard, and earlier I had it on tour, and those seem to be about the same. So I left it on standard, which will give you, um, I guess you would, what you would consider an average throttle that didn't have mold controls on it. Um, I like the sports mode for going fast. The problem is uh, riding around town and stuff like that, it's just a little touchy for that. Uh, it's not very pleasurable at slow speeds, especially like in a parking lot, uh, bumper to bumper traffic, the bike, oh, it comes a wind. Uh, the bike, um, jerk you around it and it's not pleasant it's, it's just not pleasant for me and um, so I'm gonna keep it in standard for now it's got plenty of power I don't uh, even without the uh, sports mode on it now this windshield came chromed and I, ho I hope the audio is not too bad with all this wind the windshield came chrome, but I sanded it down and I painted it black. Looks a lot, a way better. Now this is a tall windshield. The dark horses don't come with a windshield. Um, I ordered a smoke 14 inch. Uh, this one is an 18 inch. This actually, the top of the uh, windshield is a, is the top of my helmet. So it, it completely envelops me. 
and it's quite nice on this uh, chilly day it's like 60 degrees and really windy but it's a nice day I like it now I did also put these crash bars on it I made a video on that uh, they're also 40 bucks 39.99 something like that off of Amazon uh, they're not powder coated they're painted but they but for the price I think that is very nice now I always thought see I've been leaving this key fault I mean here and it's still on so it's not until I push the button it turns off I don't know if, if it after a while turns off or not I haven't really let it do that or maybe within the fob is in range it stays on I don't know I really don't know uh, what else can I say there is some victory traits on here uh, things like the like I can look at these uh, reflectors those are the exact same reflectors that were on the victory exact same and these levers also are the exact same from the victory has that little notch I remember that notch it looks just like the ones from the victory so there's some victory uh, heritage still in the Indian line because they're all made by uh, Polaris uh, I, you know who is this bike for what well, this bike is for someone who wants a cruise bike wants the traditional look with the uh, blacked out newer style trend and um, doesn't want the full fairing I got the windshield uh, it comes off very easily I have the option to take the windshield off very easily uh, now this on 2000, 2019 this one did not come with a rear seat. I might be buying a uh, rear seat for it and foot pegs. That's where this goes. It's, uh, it's where the foot pegs would go. It's very easy to convert it back, but for some reason they made these bikes solo seat, which is kind of, I think is, I don't know what they were thinking. I mean, I, I know that they're going for the look and trying to keep the price down, but I think I'd rather have have the seats and pay the extra amount um, very enjoyable to ride pleasurable very plush and roomy ride I'm five foot six and I can flat foot this uh, this bike easily uh, probably be more ideal for someone that's six foot tall because uh, there's a lot of space uh, the newer ones come with um, what do you call those ape hangers and they have, they're up here somewhere I think for me for someone my size I would be reaching you know it would it would push me forward and and I don't find that very uh, relaxing on a bike like this I want to be spread out I was gonna buy me a Harley this time around but they wouldn't give me much trade in on the victory and this was a little bit cheaper uh, and they gave me a lot more for my trade so it wasn't I just had to make the economical decision to get it I would have got a Harley but I'm not I'm not disappointed in this bike at, at all uh, I think I uh, I was gonna look I was looking at a Road King with a one uh, 107 and I've ridden 107 uh, Milwaukee's and they were uh, it's a nice engine it's got plenty of power and all that but I think this one has a little bit more power um, and it's different you know when you go somewhere there's just a sea of Harleys at these all these uh, biker hangout places and uh, and then when I I'm pretty sure when I pull up with this Indian I'm gonna be a rare one uh, there's not gonna be nobody there that has one or or very few I'll run into this 
I don't know what else to say about it. I, I don't uh, have enough experience to tell you everything there is. These are just my initial um, impressions of the bike. I don't know what the longevity is going to be like. Uh, if it's anything like the Victory Line, I, it was what gave me confidence in buying this bike because the Polaris um, stuff is, is usually made really well. Uh, it's very, very easy to service. The oil change, I can do it by myself. It's just one little f spin filter and, and, and one type of oil. You don't have two types of oil. Um, and I don't think there's hardly any maintenance on the engine. It's self-adjusting valves, I'm pretty sure. Um, I haven't heard too many bad things about the Indian. Maybe with the Indian service, because there's not that many of them around. But um, I know several, I never hardly go to dealerships anyway. And the, the place I do go to is a little mom and pop uh, mechanic shop. And uh, he works on everything. It don't matter what it is, BMW, Harley, Kawasaki, it don't matter. Well, I guess I'm going to leave it at that. And I'll be making more content with this particular bike. And, uh, and we'll see how time shows me whether or not that um, is this bike going to be worthy or not. So anyway, here we go. And I will see you next time. And stay tuned for some updates on the bike. See you later.